For over a week, Californians have been asked to reduce their electricity use from 4 to 9 p.m. But that changed on Thursday, with the alert starting at 3 p.m. and ending at 10 due to continuing forecasted high demand on the grid and low solar output. Scott Anders is the director of the Energy Policy Initiative Center at the University of San Diego. He says the length of these consecutive flex alerts is historic. We can kind of trade power between uh, states that are to the, to the east of us or to the north of us, and that helps to kind of iron out some of these supply issues we're having. But when the whole of the Western United States is under one of these heat domes, there's not much extra power to be traded around because everybody's just as hot as we are. Kevin Garrity of San Diego Gas and Electric says the utility is seeing some relief in demand due to the incoming storm system. We know the cloud cover has actually reduced our demand in here, here in San Diego County just a little bit. Across the state, it's still very high, right? And this is a statewide supply issue. So we're still monitoring all of that. The rest of the West is still under incredible demands. But we're likely to see relief locally on the demand on our local grid tomorrow based on the timing of the storm. California broke its record energy use around 5 p.m. Tuesday with just over 52,000 megawatts. The previous high was 50,270 megawatts, set July 24, 2006. So far, California has narrowly avoided rolling outages during the extreme heat. But help in the form of cooler weather is on the way. And Anders says that should end the flex alerts. And you can see very clearly a drop off um, on September 10th. So um, I, I think that's Saturday, right? So drop off on Saturday when temperatures will be lower across the state, the heat wave will lift. And so that's going to create a, you know, a little a, a heated wave of relief on the grid um, because that heat wave will subside. Operators of the state's electricity grid continue to warn that unprecedented demand on energy supplies could force them to periodically cut power to some customers. Jacob Ayer, KPBS News.